Hello viewers, um, today I have something to show off. So, um, as you can see it's February 14th. Um, first of all, I changed the names on these, but here is the more important thing. I got an enterprise phone working on my um, free PBX setup. Um, so this is a Cisco CP8831, as you can see by that. Um, this, in this case, this is the display module. Here's the actual conference phone. And the reason I kind of wanted to do this is because then I have like a cheap IP speaker because I got this for not that expensive. Um, now, so the way this is registered is I just have a file on my TFTP server. Um, I can put the file up. Um, I think there's also a website that you can go to, to for more details about this um, and how to configure these phones for to register to an asterisk. Um, so this is a SIP phone and um, that's kind of obvious. So, but this is registered to my asterisk system. And I can demonstrate that. Now I took the faceplate off of this phone because it glares a bunch when it's on there. So, um, uh, let's, let's dial this extension. So I'm going to now it does something weird with the ringtone. So let's answer the call. I'm going to mute. Hello. 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 Yes. yes. So as you can see, I'm on the phone over here. Feedback E. Put it on hold. As you can see, it's connected over here. The video on this is weird. I'm going to talk about that sometime. Anyway. Sorry, trying to get repositions. All right. So if we look at the bot, the device itself, we can see that there are, there's a mute button here and three lights around the thing. And those change color. As you can see, if I mute and unmute. And if we look around the back here, so this keypad connects with a little micro USB port. Um, and this just plugs into PoE power. Um, I think there was a micro SD slot down there maybe, I don't know. But, so that's how that's configured. Um, so I just hung up. Um, so as you can see, voicemail and all that is working on here as well. Um, some things do not work. Um, so let's see, this is 8831. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's actually funny. Um, evidently, um, 
it's picking up my IP phone upstairs and it's CDP, I, CDP. So as you can see, WAN port. Oh, that's actually funny. All right. Um, but yeah, this, it's basically an enterprise phone functioning on firm. Now this does take a while to boot up or once it's, or to register to pull down the TFTP file and whatnot. Um, sorry, this is a little bit rambly. And as you can see, the time is not, the time zone isn't correct. Um, it's actually 3.13 here, not 9.13. So, um, I don't know, unless that's UTC, that might just be UTC. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, all right, let's make an outbound call on this phone. Make a call to the phone right next to me. Dial. This part also does take a little bit of time. I can't like hit pound to speed it up because it'll just inject the pound into the string and the PBX doesn't like that. So as you can see, got call ID. And we're picked up. I can put this call on hold. Transfer it. Transfer. And I just transferred it back to this. And I can train. Transfer. And now we're. And now we're back around. And, and now we've come, come back, back around. around. So, yeah. Um, there's some of these that I've seen online where they reg they get them registered, but then they don't, um, what's this called? They can't receive incoming calls and certain things don't work. So I'm surprised this actually seems to be working fine. So yeah. Um, anyway, I will post, um, a link to the website that I followed to create this and get this working. Um, on that website, it mentions installing like a plugin onto Asterisk. I didn't do that. This is just, and that's maybe why some of the things aren't working. I just, um, well, I just use, just use the config files for the phones that they provide. Um, and that seemed to work out. Um, also, like forward all doesn't work, but you can use a star code for that. Um, voicemail. You can't hit the messages button because it doesn't know where to send, where, how, what the voicemail server is. You have one new message. Press first. Message. Message deleted. No more messages. Press goodbye. So, yeah. Um, very nice. Um, kind of very happy. Maybe I'll get the newer version of this, the 8832, and compare them. Because um, the 8832 can actually be converted to MPP firmware. But maybe I'll also get a enterprise phone or I'll get another one of these and just leave it on enterprise firmware and see what I can do with that. Um, but anyway, um, I'll post the links in the description. Um, I may post a paste bin of this guy's config in the description as well. But other than that, um, thank you for watching and have a good day.